Game one of the grand finals has begun. Amar on his Mars, which everyone, I mean, that's how he became famous. The amount of farm that we've seen, especially in like Toronto, Tokyo, playing the position yeah. five Enigma. I mean, I know it was a 70 minute game, but he had, he was six. He was literally a core. Yeah, this is an actual core, so those yeah. items are just going to come that much faster. As Insania taking a ton of damage to the Rocket Rock with a Shadow Poison. The first blood goes to crit, and 33 was well, getting pretty low, but pops the wand here. You can see. The spam from Skeeter being pretty annoying for 33 to deal with. And Sania comes here with the Halotaran out into the Magic Missile. And the Malefice to follow Skeeter. They got Might him. Might actually be dropping here into the trees he goes, but the Malefice is more than enough. As top lane, we got some action. Tier 1 really low. Amar with the Spear. Here's Skeeter. Vector. The ult from Gyro comes in. Not really hitting much, though. They're trying to focus on Mickey. He's getting healed by Boxy as crit. We'll continue to put out Shadow Four Poisons. Sacks. Not enough to kill off Mickey because of the connection from Boxy. Nisha kills Snaking in the meantime off the camera. And Mickey, two Shadow Poison stacks so far. Ooh. Not linked any longer to Boxy. The Rocket Barrage ripping through him. Has Tether, so he could go backwards if he wants, but he might be dead regardless as the spear from Amar is there. And Mickey able to find a little corner here to be able to get away. It's like a bit even because they did lose their mid tower on the Falcon side, but they were at least able to kill Enigma. Uh-oh, relocate. Yep, Amar. Oh, Moonlight Shadow. Do they have the sentry? He's going to get disposed. Too much damage regardless. Boxy gets that one. It feels like Liquid are more in control, but the game is very even yeah. when you look at the net worth. Dragon Tail from Maureen. Nisha arrow. getting caught out. There's the arrow, but they have the swap to save. A Mars Arena coming in. Call down. Connecting on a decent amount is Nisha with that Spirit Siphon continuing to stay alive as Boxy and Mickey have come to try to counteract this. Amar will fall as a result. And the rest of Falcons now on the run. They're looking hard for Dispose. Yeah, no vision. As now under tower, he gets uh -oh. Dragon Tail. Potential mistake here from Mickey. A little too aggressive as Nisha is now going to be the one linked up by Boxy. Well, oh, row daddy oh, that was definitely a little too deep from Mr. Mickey. Yeah, Might now be the another. Again, Malreen has his ult now. Oh. 33 looking for the black hole. Actually uses it, but it cancels right away because he died. And now Malreen and company focusing on Nisha. Skeeter staying alive thanks to the fairy fire, it looks like, but dies shortly after. They do find Nisha, though. So a three for one for Falcons, and Four it might be one. more as Insania will drop. <laughs> That was all set up by Mickey basically running into tower range and getting Dragon Tail yeah. out of nowhere. Yeah, all it took for Maureen to tip was 13 minutes and 50 seconds. Cool, so I wonder... Tons of mobility. Maureen, swap yeah, in. Swapped in, silenced as well. Nisha pops the exorcism. There's the Moonlight Shadow as Maureen is, is easily picked off. Oh, they're looking up top. There's no defensive reload yeah, either. Crit here with the disruption. Amar, Arena actually disrupts the tether a bit. There's the spear to follow. Skeeter gets off the call down as well. Mickey Can't. left alone to die. And they're going to find Boxy on the outskirts as well with the spirit vessel applied. Great pickoffs from Falcons. Yeah. Terrific communication and execution. Just a little yeah. poke Dragon on Dragon Tail into Runaway. <laughs> Mallory now rethinking things. Wants to go in as Amar has made his way over as well. Blink us up soon, I think. Yep, silence. It slows now, by the way. Yes. Will damage in the next patch as well. Holy damage. Malreen already at half HP. 33 with the black hole onto three. Malreen is dead. Crit is next. Amar attempting to get out of dodge, but he gets swapped back to be able to kill the Dragon Courier. But he will Ooh. follow suit to the grave. Yules is there. Will only delay the inevitable, Ooh. I would think. Gets a nice spear, though. Well, he doesn't, doesn't have, have a blink or anything, mm -hmm. so. Space. You would, yeah, <laughs> something Space. like that. They're actually TPing. A little bit closer to catch up, and 33 with the Malefice should finish the job. So three kills off the back of a monster black hole from 33. A very even game. I think their fighting power on Liquid is very strong. Okay, in trouble. Shaded on. Call down is theirs. Man, everyone from Falcons is here. Even Spirit Vessel applied. Boxy a little bit too late on the relocate. And now Insania is going to be caught out by the Spear. Such a back and forth game. What's the BKB on 3-3 soon? But I Light Shadow. Insania might tank the gank. They really like to get Nisha instead. They're going to run by him, though. Insania is dead. Nisha inside the arena. As you can see, the TPs are coming in. He's going to pop his Shivas. The gyro, remember, does have the Aegis. They're actually going to cancel the TP, so yeah, this they, looks like a free can't. kill eventually on the Nisha. Question My is, spear. who will pick it off? It will be Amar himself. Be popping this smoke. They know they're here. Falcons might be looking for the reload partners down mid as oh, they're, they're taking a more aggro right route. into Mickey. There's the initiation. They're going to take out the IO straight up. There's the BKB and the buyback onto the IO as well. 
pike. Spears there, 33, looking Ooh. for the black hole. It's going to be on the giant copter. They're going to be able to get him. And a huge pickoff for Team Liquid as Amar was swapped in. Trying to run away, has the invis rune. Pretty fortunate one to find. <laughs> the ghosts. <laughs> and lead again, continuing to grow here. 14k as a smoke now from Liquid. They feels like they desperately need something to happen. Yeah. They need... It does oh. feel like they really need the black hole to just Parasma. be epic. Yeah, Parasma's there. You're Exo. right. Nisha pops the Shivas. Lots of forces. Yeah, Skeeter is going to get disposed back into the fray. There's the cleanse again, the BKB, and the unleash from the Marcy. Trying to apply all the pressure to Skeeter, who dies. That's life number one. They have though. a black hole. Yep. Mars Arena coming in from Amar. There's the black hole. It's on the Gyro and the Shadow Demon. Perfect timing, actually. They're able to kill off Skeeter. So it ends up being a terrific black hole from Liquid. They use everything to get it, of course. Oh, the Dragon Tail coming out. Malreen will just pop the Manta. Snake King continue to hound this DP as the arrow coming in will be dodged. But see how slow he is. There's the Spirit Siphon. Trying to go for the support eventually, but Mickey is here with the rebound to give some extra move speed. And Nisha, <laughs> his run back to base is brutal. And there is the arena Can from Amar. Snaking. Nope. Don't have arrow quite yet is Malreen. They're going to find the arrow on 33 instead. So that is a terrific pickoff now. As Nisha still, oh. the run home seems like a marathon. As Skeeter coming in now. There's the rebuke from Amar. And the Death Prophet is dead. Beautiful. There's the spear onto the Io as well. A very slow and methodical chase for Falcons results in three kills. Four what if you include the Venge. Like, what a sick actual chase from them to like play on full range. Liquid to lose position, and they did. Wind Waker spear. Amar, he's not done yet. Aggressive blink in to the spear. Insania. Well, Ogre Seal Totem. Rebuke into a little dinky dinky action from Skeeter. <laughs> Results in yet another kill for him. But he does have the buyback available if he really wants to use it. But again, DP, no buyback. Creating a lot of space with that illusion as well. And this looks like two lanes for Falcons, likely uncontested. Yeah, this is at least double, which means Liquid are going to have to talk about one of the next fights, which could be the third Roche. It's going to be on Falcons to make sure to be spending all their gold before the next fight. I think Amar's also queuing up a basher, so looking for more ways to like semi-deal with the Enigma. He's backstabbing Liquid uh -oh. now. In good oh, position to find 33 as they are attempting to go for Roche. Can they get it? Arrow coming in, it's gonna definitely give some good vision. They actually do get the Aegis though. Nisha picks it up for himself. Question is, does Falcons want to continue? Remember, the creeps are already in the They're base in the behind lane. Them. Yep, Amar, Arena onto two, finds 33 with the spear. We'll get cleansed in the meantime as Mickey and company trying to focus on the back line, but Malreen, such far range now as Mickey's already super low, has to pop the BKB, but Liquid are just dropping like flies. Nisha, the last remaining member, they just die so quick. This will be Aegis, oh. and they'll be able to surround him now. Not able to get the arrow, but uh, attempting to TP out. Did they use all their stuns? No, another spear is there. And that's a full team wipe for Falcons. Like around this area of the map. He's just flying through trees. You can't really do anything to him. They lost nobody in that entire fight. Yep, two buybacks already expended for Liquid. They have another one on the DP, but again, no exorcism as the tier four will fall and the Megas will come for Falcons. Uh, turns into that triple buyback. Nisha, all they can do is silence and Shivas. They need and spam a crypt swarm. They need a ginormous black hole. He does have refresher shard. He does. That so is there's true. a potential for two ginormous yep, black swap holes. Swap or to use from Insania. Oh, Amar with a triple rebuke into the arena. 33 has to ogre seal totem back into the fountain. It's now or never for this black hole. As the ancient exposed fortifications there. But it will be ended here in game number one. 33 can't black even hole? get off the black hole. As GG's do come out and Falcons in this grand finals. Their early game nighttime plus movement speed at nighttime is one of the best changes ever happen. Yeah, to ever, ever happen. Yep, that's right. I know you don't like this take. What do you mean? Well, last week you were like, no, it's not the best I mean, ever. yeah, to say ever is kind of ridiculous. See, there you go. <laughs> Again, they get three bounties, okay. but Skeeter is taking a ton of damage. Nice blocks from 33. Giga blocks. Another gush is coming for him. Oh, yeah, spit on him. And the right click should be enough as 33 gets first blood. Looks like he's going to get it. Oh, impale into the deny. Oh, oh. No, he got it. He bottled it just in time. Picture perfect. As uh, Skeeter, they got Skeeter, gone by though. 33. The Boy Spirit comes as well, but remember, Malreen was here already. Gets the coil off as the Tidehunter will be the first to fall. Oh. And Malreen and company will be laughing their way to the bank. I believe, yes. Falcon's Blade. Falcon. Is it Falcon or Falcon's Blade? 
Falcons, I think, as Amar is going to get caught off guard Ooh. here. Spear is not going to hit. Arrow also not going to hit. That's the 1v1 champion right there. Did you see that? There's now a smoke from Liquid. Trying to find some aggression. Mr. Crit. Insania barely, bro. was spot. Ooh. Trying to go for the swap, but Crit able to find the distance. Oh. Moonlight Shadow is not going to give him the oh. cover. He thinks he will because of the sentry place and the instant hex onto Amar. Good hex. Crit looks like he's going to be the first to die. Coil not hitting anyone, it looks like, as Amar will be able to find Insania. So it's a one for one. But he's starting to get up there in the net worth, but they are sitting up on him. Oh, this would be a huge kill. I think Amar's Arena him. is there just in time. Mickey going to be sent to the grave in all likelihood. The arrow of all things to finish him off with the mana drain and then nothing. I mean, a very big level discrepancy between these heroes. That's a level 6 plus 4 and a level 9 plus 5. Oh, Mickey. Moonlight Shadow. Mickey. Yule set up. Spear into tree, into arrow, into arena. That is a lot of damage. Right here comes the 33 Ravage onto 2. And the Eclipse to follow with the finger. Enough burst damage to rip Amar oh, a new two. one as Crit gets taken out as well. Terrific rotations from Liquid as Snake King will take a tumble as well is packing a bit of a punch. Going for the BKB before finishing Daedalus. So it just shows the difference in this game in terms yeah. of the state that they are in. Oh, they, they want to steal the Wisdom Rune. I think Liquid have a good chance of destroying them later with the smoke. Oh, the Yules. Oh, this is a good Another catch. Set up. He gets the connection. Mallory is there. But the initiation from 33 with the Ravage is enough to save Nisha. No. The swap out. But Snake King and company. That's a huge coil, actually. But the Malreen on the puck will die first. As the arena comes out onto several heroes as Insania trying to get one magic missile to go, and that's the Aegis down. And the rest of Liquid now will reset completely. Not sure how Insania lived through that, but I'm sure he'll write a story one day to his kids. But still only a 3k lead mm -hmm. for the time being. Mika is here. Oh, mass TPs. Not the easiest catch. Alreen, yeah, able to illusory orb away into the Whoa, smoke. Double. Okay, Nisha didn't have the vision there. Meanwhile, Amar finds one on the sideline, but yeah, more important fight here is the Eclipse coming through, dealing massive damage. 33, already at half HP. As Skeeter now on the run, they lose the line on the other side of the map, the coil onto the Venge. Oh, the Remnant hit! And the Remnant does just barely hit Skeeter, and he's forced to fight it out with the anchor attached. To continue the chase on Maori. He's going to get the Waning Rift, able to dodge a couple spells with the phase shift. Really playing with his food here. It has to be careful, though. 33 has the Ravage available. Trying to fake it out. There's a silence. Ravage? Into the Ravage and oh, nice. into the kill. Big one for Liquid. And they're going to completely ignore Crit because Amar has shown himself he's actually going to use the arena. Pretty big uh, rebuke to come. What a as Snake is actually doing quite a bit of damage on the sidelines as well. They find Nisha. 33 having a really pathetic battle with Shadow Demon here. <laughs> Crit continuing to apply as much damage as he can. As somehow Amar is still alive in defensive mode. Oh. Sparta, will you live? No. They just don't have the burst to get the initial kill. Yeah. And then it just becomes this really long, drawn out, okay, delayed they're, fight. They're looking again. Aggressive yeah, swap, swap Magic missile. Oh, Eclipse. But the Shadow Demon. Crit with the save. Malreen gets the coil onto two. Meanwhile, Mickey will pop the BKB. Continue to right click. But Skeeter will just casually run away. So, 33 actually blinking in, does not have, he has the anchor. Crit Dead in the water. Anchor to the ground. Is Amar coming in with the arena potentially available? Malreen trying to finish off the support side. He gets two inside the arena. Mika is the one they want to kill. Finally gets taken out. And Insania looks to be next. As the right clicks from Skeeter are going to be more than enough. The BKB going to absorb that magic missile. As Skeeter getting gone on by 33. And Nisha and the finger will be able to bring one down. Skeeter drops to the grave. Beautiful Somehow this buyback. fight is continuing with the buybacks continuing to ensue for Liquid. Amar completely surrounded, mana drained, and destroyed. The Parasmi will be what will come out next. Malreen ignoring the bounty because he wants oh. this kill. Found Insania in an Observer. Insania, yeah, he just pops it in the trees. Just stay in the trees. Uh, <laughs> He's fine. <I> mean, <laughs> they'll find him eventually. They kind of just don't want to waste their time. Like, eh, I guess I'll kill him. Crit takes it for himself. Chat move would be to just let him live. <laughs> <laughs> this is how little we care about this kill. But this one Quick will be a lot bigger. But they don't have a break to go oh. for it right now. Is the arena coming out only onto Boxy? Boxy's that falling would be a low. dieback to be able to get his 33 gets off the ravage, only connect on one because the BKB popped by Skeeter. Yeah, 33 is dead. No way to get back in the game. 
Call down. Mickey's going to pop the BKB, though, as Nisha covering him from the backside. There's the swap. Trying to go on to Amar. He's going to eat up an entire Eclipse. The Yules is there to keep him alive a little bit longer, but does fall in Nisha. the end as Nisha. Very oh. aggressive. Psychic headband. Trying to find Snake King, but he has the leaps to go. What's the buyback status like? I think both supports on Liquid cannot buy in this fight. Okay. Falcons are ready for this next fight. <laughs> Five buys. <laughs> yeah. Liquid have zero. Yep, as there's Thank the you. anchor, but the disruption to follow. Call down to give Amar a little bit of cover. He's going to pop the Yules as well, but the Red Aether Nets. Remnant sets that up. He gets forced up. The anchor is still oh, there. It's Nisha? unkillable as Nisha comes in and bursts down two. Double kill ends up going to Mickey with the Eclipse. But again, they do have the buybacks, like you said. They can try to replicate the play from earlier. Remnant into swap. You might just be a goner. Yeah, high ground attempt now for Liquid. Still plenty of time on this Aegis. And with that Conda now in tow, Mickey can just poke aggressively with his Lucent Beam from afar. They didn't cut any waves either, so I think Falcons will have to aggressively look to defend their base. Yeah, Mark trying to clear the wave. He will do so, but now that the tower is down, this is where the Glaze become uh, they're waiting for very the SD difficult to they deal have with. SD Ags and Satanic. This okay. is what they've been waiting for. Yeah. Demonic Purge now breaks. Against 33 is going to be pretty damn important, but they lose the Raindrax. Wave is coming. Yeah, fortification, or the backdoor protection is there. Moonlight Shadow to help initiate. There's some disruption to start. Arrow is coming into the spear as well. That is going to be Aegis in the blink of an eye. And there's a coil on the back line onto three. As Ravage. Ravage coming through, not really hitting much, but they will be able to secure the melee rack at the very least. But there's the a break now on Luna. Crit getting gone on. There's the swap to try to save the Luna, but Amar Oops, gets off miss. the arena onto the Luna herself. But they're going to focus on the bench first. There's the arrow connection from Snake King. Nisha jumping in with the Astral. Well, okay, he's actually oh. going to get bursted, trying to TP. Very ambitious play. So they lose their set of racks, but they get some very valuable kills. Holy paste. What? That was a sick defense from Falcons. We're yeah, I'm watching. He has not gold. Oh, yeah, I see. You know, it's no. not the yeah. cooldown. Yeah. Just using your eyes. We have the tech. It's a good trick. <laughs> <laughs> it's very strong. Oh, they just want to go. Okay, I like the confidence. You have all your yeah, spells. Spear back good. into the tower. Swap. Into the arrow. No, the swap. swap comes out. That means Venge is dead. Mars Arena already used as well. Double BKB for Falcons. But Ooh. Mickey's still really low. The coil is expended. He's going to have to try Ravage. to fight it. The Ravage comes out from 33 into the Eclipse. They, they delete one. That is the Gyrocopter. Mars is next. Maureen trying to finish the job, but Mickey is more than healthy now. As okay. they're forced up back into the high ground, they will have to defend from afar. They have, but they don't have a wave yet. They have buybacks. I have. Do you think these creeps are still bannered? <laughs> <laughs> no, that was the worst banner ever. Imagine if they had banner on the top push anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine knowing how to use the item that comes from Roche. Okay, Maureen being annoying, as pucks generally are. I mean, Mickey oh, does Crit not have up. the most HP. Yeah, they have double buyback now for Falcons. Crit is up and running. Yes, he did not slap. get the 50-50 on the shard, by the way. It went to the Marana. I'm sure they're crying their eyes out about that. Slap this tower 3-3. Three, three. Trying to backstab here. 33 is going to be scouted by the arrow. And I like it's all about Crit finding the Demonic Purge on 33. I like what Falcons are doing. They know that they don't want to run into Liquid here. So instead, you force mid to force them back. And Malreen has a nasty position. Oh, Malreen. Oh, my goodness. All right. Uh -oh. He's going to be spotted. Re oh. Okay, they didn't quite no see way. him. Malreen still in the trees. We'll pop the BKB, the coil, only onto one. Onto the vengeful spirit of all heroes. He can't even finish the job there. That is a... Disaster, really, for Malreen. Now that's they two got, BKBs they got for Falcons. He's okay. making space. Okay, yeah, Alliance are doing it. Double Impale coming Ravage. through into the Ravage, but it's just the two supports for now. The Anchor applied to the Shadow Demon. Yules, I think has another leap to go. Snake King is going to be fine. Crit, sure. not so much. And that's a buyback now onto Crit. Spear connection is there. Snake King trying to run away. It's not going to happen this time. Oh, and Skeeter, Skeeter and company have to Skeeter away. <laughs> Double another buy. buyback, so neither support for Falcons have the buyback. A very tense moment here, Malreen. Don't think the BKB's up yet. Oh, he's going to be spotted. He's going to be hexed. Do they have enough? Ah, yes, of course they do. A little bit late on the Not arena for Lamar, but it's on basically everybody from Liquid. They're going to be able to get Vengeful Spirit to start. Lion is actually going to buy back instantly as Nisha oh just getting God. destroyed by Skeeter. Triple kill for him, and it looks like 33 is next on the menu. No, he actually, they're actually ignoring him because there's a Luna on the other side that is much more valuable. And Skeeter picks up the ultra kill. 33 still trying to run away. Amar brings that to an end emphatically.
Oh, but Skeeter eyeing Ooh. a divine rapier. I kind of like it, especially if he can get to rapier. Like, oh, oh okay. hex from Boxy, hex. impale, oh, finger of finger death, just a little casual damage. Amar actually jumps in with the BKB and Arena. Arena. Boxy literally invulnerable yes. because of that shard. What was oh, Val thinking of saving against the swap out? He might be the sacrifice for Liquid. Ravage? Indeed he is, but the Ravage double! Oh. a double because he actually picked up the goddamn Refresher Shard in the pit. Two dead just like that. He is broken, though. Do they have enough to continue to push? There are still the two buybacks for Falcons. Is Mickey posturing ready to go? Okay, they still, they have to respect the buyback still. It was a great double Ravage. Nisha has a 25 talent. Yep, crit. Okay, there's buyback. buyback oh, make it to Gyro TPing. Mickey with the BKB. And the teleport out, but the Yules from Amar finds the Lion. That's not going to feel that good. Really? Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't want to get bursted? That's, he, he does that's the best you could come up with? I mean, that's why he bought a <laughs> disc. What do you want me to say? Smoke into the base for Falcons. Holy base. They okay. want to try to finish this game. Mickey obviously does not have buyback. One hero dying is huge for either team. Tier 4 dead. The one more remaining. Back. Swapping out of the gyro. He's already at half HP. The Marjorie that comes in. He pops Disruption. his lead hand trying to stay alive. He Disruption keeps him alive for yes, now. Satanic. Pops the BKB. The break upon the Tidehunter. They kill oh, the Lunar. No. That's just the Aegis though. 33 actually limps back to the base. I think Falcons might have to back up here. But the Ooh. Ancient is fully exposed. Mickey already at half HP. Astro's head from Nisha. Nisha? Another arena coming back. from he's Amar. The buyback out of the boys. But they're focusing on the Ancient now. Skeeter with that rapier. Will it be enough? It looks like it will be at 33 and company trying to delay the oh inevitable. My. They get the board. No, they actually it's did it. enough. Falcons win game two. No. Okay. I mean, the S tier, S double plus tier taunt is the Luna Meow. Is oh, Insania. Insania taking blood grenade damage. Amar with the torrent. That him. is first blood for him. So again, a good start for the way of Falcons. That is Liquid Sword, so they know who's here. Yep, but so is here. No more dragon form for Malri. He's going to take a gush to the face. Good 33. Does have the Ravage if he wants to expend it. Nisha's already low on HP and mana. Going to use the last of the mana to come to Snake King as the Ravage comes through. It's going to connect on two, but Amar has made his way over along with Skeeter. Already a good old fashioned team fight. This is so At 33, forced. the boat is coming for you and it will vanquish the watermelon. Yeah, this Lance, Lance of, of pursuit. pursuit. Of course. Oh, I'm just testing everybody. Yeah, good Estimation job. Exclamation mark L. <laughs> <laughs> Nisha, he is caught out with no mana at all. X into... Oh, okay. <laughs> Any, we don't have... Oh, no swap available. He's yeah, looks dead. like okay. he's dead either way. Oof. I actually thought that arrow was on Falcons because they've been playing Marana every, every game. game. <laughs> like, that arrow went right through yeah. him. Unbelievable. They're cheating. Likely very happy about this as 33 is going to get some action here pretty soon. Yeah. Crit, of course, has a break ability. Will use it. Going to prevent that Kraken shell from activating. And that is just too easy for Amar. Maybe a little bit too early I for that. I don't think this time around, this is the first time that they're really far behind at this stage. I think they're not in a position to fully force it. Nisha with Witchblade. Yep, has used basically all his mana. Crit pops the wand. Miss. And he's going to get the Bushwhack. A little bit of extra distance now because of the ult. And Snake King is coming to try oh, to finish no. off Nisha. The torrent onto two. Nisha completely out of mana. And now HP double kill for Amar as this is turning into... A good old a fashioned massacre. stomp. This bottom area, they eventually push the tier two before the 20 minute mark. Yep. They steal the Tormentor. And I mean, that is a lot of goals. We're going to see this combo again the sharpshooter, the two break. Goodbye, Watermelon Man. Yeah, he's going to show himself. Oh, Amar, Holy. a boat already being cast as Malorin coming in. There's the first Lucent Beam of the game, I do believe. He's the focus on the Luna, but the fight. swap. Good job from Insania. It's going to cost him his life, but is it going to be enough? The Ravage coming out, the buyback as well. Zip in from Nisha. They need these kills. Crit extremely low. The Torrent destroying them. And 33 just trying to get a lowly kill on a support. He's not even going to find it, it looks like. They can't. As he gets up, one more anchor smash. Double kill for Malreen. That's three dead for Liquid. Torrent not going to hit this time for Amar. We'll do some damage thanks to the Blade Mail. Tidebringer. Tidebringer not quite there. Does have the X, though, as Insania. Did he get the slow on top of that? Yeah, he is done. So double kill for Skeeter, four dead for Liquid, and they're on the doorstep. And now it's looking even more rough. Yeah, this is your tier three being poked at 22 minutes in the game. The way north sign. Yep, crit. Ooh, just Ooh. out of vision here, Skeeter. 
There's the Ravage. It's going to be onto three. This could be the last the end for Link with the BKB. Popped by Skeeter, though. Gets off his ult, and you can see they're controlling they the combo. Amar. So Amar is dead, and now Skeeter and Snay and everybody else from Falcons on the run. They got the gem. Snay not able to get out. As he dies, the buyback though. Liquid want to do just by positioning, right? Like you put Amar beyond other heroes, or behind rather. And Liquid on the hunt, in the smoke, in the moonlight shadow as well. I mean, Crit knows exactly. He drew the exact line. They're going to break it. Malreen ready to go. They have the vision now with the sentry. There's the stun Orchid on the Marana. He already gets the leap off. Sharpshooter not going to hit this time for Crit. Meantime, we see the Eclipse coming out. And the blade mail already popped for Mr. Amar. Does get off the torrent. But it's Ravage. not going to be enough as the Ravage comes in, Skeeter. actually decimating the Aegis. Gyro is dead for now, and now he's completely starting a nice bushwhack as Skeeter's going to try to hold his ground. Pops that BKB for himself. Now oh. trying to focus down the Luna, and he'll get her very easily. Well, they still get the Kunkka as Nisha getting pursued no way. now. <laughs> the arrow is yes, coming. It. Nice Manta, Malreen. Oh, Continue to slow Nisha, but he gets enough mana to zip to the base. Okay, nice Mango purchase there to save that. Still a decent hold. Vessel completed now as well on Boxy. Bring so this game fully back. Crystal Clone. Crystal Clone. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Might cost him. Don't worry. Crystal Clone's back in five seconds. Can you use it, Snake King? No. He's dead. I don't blame him. I feel like I would have done the same. Eventually, you just want to use the Crystal Clone. You can see the Parasma finish for Nisha. So has the BKB Parasma. Not Aww. the greatest of farm. They're but moonlighting on a Falcon Ward. And smoke. Dragon form is down right now, but he's going to pop the BKB and try to fight anyway. The Ravage not really going to do too much, but the Eclipse doing quite a bit to the DK. Mallory forced to use the Manta and try to run away here, but Skeeter is on the low ground waiting for the rest of Liquid. Marana is dead. A nice tidal wave, but the swap onto Mickey, but he still wants to fight. Not sure why, because he's about to die. The Force Staff will keep him safe for the time being, but the X is there. Triple kill for Skeeter, and he's not done yet. His Boxy will be next. Make it an Ultra. As uh -oh. 33 gets X'd into the fireball, Celebratory tidal rampage. wave, and rampage. What better way to end the grand finals for Falcons than a rampage on Skeeter? On Gyrocopter, mind you, everybody. Of course, everyone's favorite here these days. Looks like that'll be the bottom racks at the very least. You can see the rampage finish off here for Skeeter. Nice of his team to help him out there. That's two lanes just like that. And one more barracks to go for the Megas. Does Liquid have one more stand in them? I mean, their big spells are down. And that is Megas. This is... At least Moonlight Shadow. The DK is waiting. Perfect Sentry's position. There. There's the Dragon Tail to start things out. The zip in from Nisha. Ravage comes out. Is Mickey already super low? Will be swapped, but that's into a Torrent Storm. And the arms of Skeeter, who rips him a new one. Three dead for Liquid. Make it four. And now the GG's call. G -G. Congratulations to Team Falcons, your grand champions here.